Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, AKA Pineapple Vegan, and I'm back. Uh, uh. We are at the Dallas Farmer's Market. Now, if you don't already know, which I'm sure you know because you follow me on all my social media, because you love me, besties, but I am a official vendor here. So I do have my own tent, my own booth. I sell my food here on Saturdays and Sundays every weekend unless I post otherwise. So that's where I've been, y'all. Now, don't you forgive me. Cause it's hard. It's a lot of work. six years now. And what made you want to be vegan? I don't know, I just start cutting out stuff out of my life. So I didn't even know what a vegan was, vegetarian was. I just, um, it started with me stop like going out, hanging with the wrong crew, solitude, getting back to self, meditating. And then when I was able to think more clearly, something just, I just woke up. You got rid of all the toxic stuff and all the, I guess, noise. Right, right. And you were actually all able to hear. Right, exactly. I love that, I love exactly. that, I love that. Y'all, y'all really need to come check him out, the Dallas Farmer's Market. Like if you're ever in Dallas, honestly, I feel like this is worth a trip to Dallas to check out Because we got a lot of vegan food and this is one of the dopest spots here So y'all gonna have to come and check out my man Bonnie. Thank you so much Bonnie And I can't wait to get down on this. I appreciate you man And keep it up bro. Yeah, for sure. Y'all too later <laughs> Bye <laughs> you guys so I got my food from vegan Bonnie's it's my soul food brunch plate now I know you guys saw the menu but I'm gonna still give you another breakdown of what it is so it is a blueberry pancake topped with southern fried oyster mushrooms and then we have some collard greens some pinto beans sweet potatoes and some grits and y'all I'm not even gonna lie I've had this before it's like one of my favorite dishes from him and I'm about to go in, so let's do this. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's so good, y'all. Okay, that's enough. Bye. Now that I'm all full and have eaten and my belly is all satisfied, I can tell you guys a little bit more about what I've been doing. Since I've been gone, I've been working at the Dallas Farmer's Market, so I am an official vendor. I have a booth just like these, all souped up, yellow, with my pineapple logo, and it's really cool, but it has been taking a lot of my time. It's very hard work. We only work two days a week if we don't also pick up extra events. So yes, you guys, I've been really busy, and I do apologize for neglecting you guys. I'm really trying to do better, and I, I will do better. How about that? I will do better, but I just, I really like it out here. Like, I'm finally getting to share all the food that you guys get to see me make. I'm getting to share it with people, like, finally, and everybody actually gets to taste it. And I've had people even say, it tastes exactly how I imagined, or it tastes just like how you said it would, like, and that makes me feel really good. So if you are ever in Dallas, Texas, or if you live in Dallas, Texas, come to the farmer's market, the Dallas farmer's market. Oh man, we didn't get them nachos. Yeah. So we were gonna get some nachos from Bam, but he was sold out. And we knew better, cause we're vendors here. We know that Bam sells out before 2 p.m. Why didn't we pay attention? I don't know. It, cause it took you like four hours to wash your hair. So it's my fault that we got here late? Yeah, it is. It is. Like, actually, it is your fault. Typical. Blame the woman. Y'all, it is... It is over 100 degrees in Dallas, Texas today. 
so damn hot. All you gotta do is put a little oil on the sidewalk and you can actually cook food on the sidewalk. It's so hot here. Ask me how I know because I've done it several times, experimenting with my children. Not, not like at, at the farmer's like not, we, no, we, we would never serve that here. But you guys, if you are ever here, definitely come by and check out my booth and come get some of my good food. And you know, have the pineapple experience. I mean, it's me. But guys, yeah, that was just a little bit of the Dallas Farmer's Market and a little bit of what I'm doing. And I'll give you more update videos as I do more things because I do have a lot going on. I can't really shove it into one video right now. So I guess you guys stay tuned for the next one. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so you will be notified when me, Find Out Vegan, AKA Brittany, AKA the best ever, AKA the mother, I was a video. See you which, guys. Which may be like a long time from now. I'm telling them. They got, they, they, I mean, they have the notification <laughs> bell turned on and the bell's not ringing, so. Click the notification button. I'm about to go, cause I'm about to whoop him. <laughs> One, two, you nine. Can't fight. Babe, stop, yes I can. I can fight like Tyson. Oh yeah. Give me that flower. No. I'm gonna eat it. No.